Gemini, this week is very full on and very intense for you. And it's all about relationships and you are very lucky indeed when it comes to relationships this week. You have the opportunity to stretch, to grow, to sort things out and to balance things. We have Jupiter, the planet of good fortune in your relationship zone. So for the next year, you have an opportunity to really leap forward when it comes to love and relationships and to enable yourself to bring balance, beauty and fluidity into your relationships. We have the sun there at the moment as well, so you're confident when it comes to your personal relationships and you're opening your heart to possibility. So, you know, use that amazing Jupiter magic on your love life this week, whether you're in a relationship, whether you're single, whatever your circumstances, you have got special magic. Um, on top of that, Mercury's going there, and even though he's in shadows, there's still maybe a bit of confusion around your relationships. You have the opportunity to transform them. You have got the power, and it's obviously a brilliant time to work on your relationship with yourself, to trust your emotions, and to trust your ability to love and be loved. Uh, we also have Venus, the planet of love, sex styling, Saturn. <laughs> and giving you the opportunity to ground your relationships. I'm trying to ignore the barking dogs, the crazy parrot. It's like a zoo in here. Boo, no, mummy's working. Anyway, so Venus, let me just let him in. Venus is in your position of sorting yourself out. So if you, if you need to sort your home out, if you need to sort your bills out, if you need to take care of your health and well-being, that is all possible this week. And you're also able to commit to yourself and commit to sorting things out financially and to stepping into your power work-wise. In fact, because Saturn is in your position of primal emotions and power, you can really step through this week on condition that you take care of the details and you deal with the minor stuff. And now, if there isn't too much drama with all my animals, it's your weekly tarot. What have we got for Gemini this week? What have we got for Gemini this week? Okay, I do apologise for the chaos. I'm going to sort this out. I think I'm going to have to move where I film. Rocky is now climbing up the cage towards the curtain rail. Anyway. All right, Gemini. Okay, Gemini, first card. You're going through a rebirth. This is the card uh, for air signs. You may be feeling a bit sort of childlike argumentative this week. Uh, don't, I wouldn't waste your energy. You've got so much positive things going on astrologically. You know, don't battle unless you need to and don't play it small because, as I said before, this is the ideal time to increase your wealth, to increase your sense of security, to stabilise, to ground. And, you know, this is an ace, baby. You could reach a peak financially and whether it's literally it happens this week or whether you just have an idea that Saturn will help you build on, this is where you're heading. Ace of Pentacles, that's gotta be good. Now you may be dealing with an old pain and as we come to the end of the year, you know, that is a time when we think about the past and we think about pains that we've had, but this is an old pain and those swords are ready to leave your heart. Are you ready to let go of the pain to really explore the possibility of having a heart full of love? Oh, two cards. You may be feeling under pressure actually when it comes to a relationship or you may be attracted to somebody who's beautiful but a little bit flaky or they're very idealistic, creative, musical um, and you're like, you admire that uh, but you may feel they're not being practical. You know what? If you fell in love with someone because they're creative and idealistic, then support them in that journey because you have a lot of that creativity too and it may be bringing up something for you. This week is about balance and when you find the balance then you can move forward to the structure and the magic that's waiting. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.